We need to discern the times. Listen, if all you're doing is listening to the news, you're not going to clearly discern what God is saying. Because <laughs> you're just going to get depressed at all the garbage that's going on. But I'll tell you what my Bible says. My Bible says, that Isaiah chapter 60, this is where we're living, right here. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For darkness will cover the earth, deep darkness will cover the people, but the Lord will rise on you. Put your hand on your belly and say, God is rising on me. And his glory will be seen on you. Then the nations will come to your light. Come on, the darker it gets, the more opportunity we have for the glory of God to rise and shine and to shine brightly. Amen? Listen, do you realize that the first two great awakenings happened at some of the most dark, depressing, and desperate times in our nation's history? We were, both times, we were extremely divided. Both times, our economy was failing. Both times, even leaders in the church weren't saved. That's that Vashti church I was talking about. There was a spiritual crisis. It wasn't an economic crisis. It wasn't a political crisis. It was a spiritual crisis. How many know we've lost our way as a nation because we're in a spiritual crisis? The division that's happening is not a political crisis. It's a spiritual crisis. If we got our spirit right, how many understand a lot of these other things should just work out? So, my husband and I, we just got back this week from doing a conference in Hawaii. I know it's really sad. Somebody has to do it. <sighs> we do it every year. We've done it for 20 years. We go over and we do a lot of work. We prophesy. We preach till our guts hang out. Um, it's really, it's actually quite exhausting. But, so we found out that we have to go in early to actually see the island. I grew up there, so we go in early and I spend some time where I grew up. And um, so a few years back, um, you know, we, just, we decided that every time we went to Hawaii, we were going to do a hike. Now, I am not hiker girl, okay? Like, we don't hike any other time of our lives. But my husband decides we are going to hike, okay? We've hiked Diamond Head. We've hiked Cocoa Head. Cocoa Head is like this. It's straight up, okay? Um, anyway, I won't tell you about that, okay? So I begged my husband, can we do an easier hike this time? And so we went up this Manoa Valley, which is a really nice hike. It's supposed to be about 45 minutes and hiking up through this valley to a waterfall. And it was absolutely beautiful. So we started out, but we started really late in the day. And we, we hiked up and we saw the waterfall, took some pictures, started hiking back. Well, at that time of the year, um, the sun was setting about 730 on the beach. And here was my first lesson, that the sun sets quicker in a valley than it does on the beach. So there was sudden, rapid darkness. We were walking down the trail and it was light and all of a sudden it was dark. I mean dark, dark, dark. Is, doesn't that feel like what's happened in our country? Like we're going along and all of a sudden, man, it is dark. It was so dark, I couldn't see my hand in front of my face. Now, let me just describe the trail. The trail was, has a mountainside on this side and about a 40-foot ravine. So, I am not moving forward. Because it's dark. And that has been the state of the church. Darkness encroached and the church stopped because we have a hard time seeing our path. Watchmen see the path. Watchmen see the path. So I'm literally, st I'm literally standing there. And my husband goes, babe, we got to keep moving. We can't spend the night here. And I'm saying, why can't we spend the night here? Okay, I can't see. This is dangerous. How many know it's dangerous to walk in the dark and not be able to see? Do you understand the call of the watchman now? It's dangerous to walk in the dark and not be able to see. And so while we stood there in the dark... We're starting to move forward, and I mean, I'm taking little tiny baby steps. We are not advancing quickly. I'm moving very, very slowly because we can't see. When all of a sudden it dawns on us, we've got iPhones in our back pocket. Now, it was pitiful because they were old iPhones. 
and they didn't have the flashlight built in. So this is way back, you know, like we were in the four stage, okay? And so what you actually had to do is you had to download a flashlight. So we stood there in the middle of the trail and downloaded flashlight apps. Listen, when it gets so dark that you can't see, the first thing you need to do is stop and download some light, download some revelation, okay? Quit just trying to move forward when you can't see and stop and download some revelation that will give you an ability to advance. But these were pitiful flashlights. iPhone 4 flashlights. They were like a little tiny pinprick of light. But here's where I learned my second lesson. A little tiny bit of light drives out a whole lot of darkness. All you need is a little bit of light. And a little bit of light and darkness gave us an ability to start advancing. Now, we were still going slow, but we were advancing. We were going to get there. We weren't going to spend the night in the valley. Okay, like maybe I thought we were before. We're now starting to move forward. When all of a sudden, out of the woods, comes these two Hawaiian men. And they've got flashlights strapped to their forehead. So it's dark, but they don't care because they've got these big beams of light. And they're just walking along. We said these were our Hawaiian angels, okay? They come out of nowhere with all this light, they come up to us on the trail. They said, oh, looks like you guys could use some help. They reach into their backpacks. They pull out for each of us these giant flashlights, put them in our hands, and they take off down the trail. And my husband and I stood there, and we went, were those angels? How many understand that, that from that point forward, we could actually really advance quickly? We could move quick. Do you, do you see the analogy of where we're at as the body of Christ? And when we end up needing angelic help, God will send angelic help to us. I don't know if those were angels that carried flashlights in a backpack or not. But I'm telling you that God is sending angels in this season of time. 